Hello everyone and welcome to San Jackal. This is my sketchbook tour number 6 which is uh, Royal Talents Art Creation A4. If you are interested about Royal Talents, it is a cream color paper with 80 sheets and is good for pencils, inks, and matte acrylic paintings. This was the second time that I bought Royal Talents because its price is a lot lower compared to high-end brands. I used this sketchbook to create a draft of the comics that I am planning to publish. There are lots of character designs, settings, art styles, thumbnails, storyboards, and scripts. Script writing is very important for comics or animation. But I hope I'm not the only one who feels lazy about writing scripts. If I'm overloaded with ideas, I often draw it. That's why this sketchbook is filled with unfinished panels which consume lots of pages. No wonder I finished this sketchbook in just one month only. Character designs. What is a story without characters? In this sketchbook, you can also see lots of new characters. I tried to do a realistic one, but I think it's better if I will retain if I will retain my cartoony style. I realized that creating characters is challenging because you give role and personality for each character where your audience can relate with. It is the character that makes the audience curious about the story. Also, I see lots of sketchbook with lots of original characters with personality but without a full-blown story. Probably because an artist just want to put into the world a piece of him or her. And each character may represent the artist's environment experience or ideal self art style in this sketchbook i also try to do gross out art gross out art is a genre with unconventional subjects which are oftentimes disturbing filthy and related to toilet humor it is a popular genre in the 90s if you get to explore 90s cartoons, they are pretty twisted and mind-blowing compared with 80s genre of superheroes in tights and girls next door wearing pop sleeves and knee-high bobby socks. One of my favorite cartoons is Beavis and Butthead, which is somehow related to gross out art but has deviated from the usual Wholesome cartoon for kids. Some cartoon that also inspired me are Ghostbusters, Beetlejuice, The Simpsons, Futurama, Hey Arnold, and Invader Zim. And of course, German Expressionism is here with dark settings and cross hatching. I guess I explained this on my Lois Term 1917 sketchbook tour. For the tools that I use, Prismacolor, Premier Colored Pencil, and Pelican Ink. I use Prismacolor for drafting the panels and ink for the final picture. I also started to do digital coloring in Photoshop, which is my first time even though I started to use Photoshop since 2006. It was a very long time indeed. <laughs> <laughs> and digital coloring is a lot of fun. Photoshop, when it was just starting, is a cutting-edge tool for the comic industry. This is one of the benefits of creating comics wherein you will learn to explore the software. In creating corporate graphics for clients, you won't do digital coloring but more of layouting. That is why tools like Lasso and Paint Pocket and other digital painting tools are underutilized. But with comics, you will understand the purpose of these tools. Digital coloring takes a lot of time but is very rewarding in the end. So, I hope you like this video and thank you to my subscribers here on YouTube and TikTok. If you have questions about sketchbooks and multimedia arts, feel free to make comments. And also, please visit my website, sanjakal.com. Thank you. Bye!